Welcome back to our African Indigenous Vegetable Series. Today we are going to be talking about Kanzilla or the Ethiopian mustard. This is a substitute of Skuma Wiki, all the kale, and it is appreciated in the markets because of the fact that it does not have gas. Now, how do we produce this vegetable? This vegetable is produced in beds. We will make the seed beds. Remember, we made a one meter by half and to the length, to your preferred length, and they are broadcasted. The procedure is the same as Kanzilla. You can check on our previous video that we talked about Sageti. Now, the procedures are the same. You create, you make the bed. After making the bed, you'll broadcast the Ethiopian mustard seeds. These seeds uh, take about three days to germinate. And then after germination, the seeds will be there for 28 days. And they will be ready for harvest. They are sold uh, with kilo or with uh, the same bed. And for a new farmer, it is good to sell by a kilo because you will not be able to estimate. A kilo goes on a minimal of, on the minimum of 20 shillings to a maximum of 40 shillings depending on the time on the season of the, 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 the crop harvest. Uh, we plant this in large scale because it is the most preferred and the most consumed in le African leafy vegetables. The cost of production, you will need seeds, quality seeds, but our seeds we do get them from the seed bank. Mostly we get our seeds from uh, a supplier in town, uh, an Indian supplier in town. There are two varieties of the mustard seeds. They are the yellow one and the, the brown ones. The brown ones are good because they are a bit firm when they are harvested and like the yellow one which uh, are soft and they, they rot faster. For half an acre, you will need about four kilos and a kilo goes for 320 shillings. You also need manure, manure about two tons of manure for application. And after the 30 days or 31 days, you'll have the, the, the product ready for the market. The farm management, what you need, you need to make sure you weed your, 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 your Ethiopian mustards. Once you see weeds, you uproot the weeds. And to keep them green and healthy, you need booster. And that is when we apply the foliar fertilizer from the frost. We spray it at least once every week. That will ensure that the, fr the, the vegetable does not take 20, that one day. Rather, it takes 27 days for harvest, and the leaves are broad and green. The, leaf, the vegetable is, is not greatly affected by pests and disease, but during the, uh, the hot season or the sunny season when there is no rain, they are greatly affected by amphids. So how to control amphids? Make sure you water them regularly and enough, and make sure you also spray some rabbit urine, especially at night, uh, not night, at the evening. Uh, other than pests, the diseases not really, but once they are affected, mostly it is the, 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 the downy mildew. And the management is that you make sure that the, the, the leaves that are affected, mostly affected, you uproot them. But normally the mildew is very minimal, so it does not really affect the production of, of the, 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 the vegetables because it is very fast growing vegetable and very fast harvested vegetable. A lot of people have identified that the normal skumawiki is full of gas. So every household that is conscious about gas is adapting to consumption of this mustard greens. So the market for the mustard greens is wide, it's big, and this market is not, it is not graded, like everything is grade one. There is no grade one, two or three. Everyone is grade one and it all goes to the market and they are, they are, they are bought in large quantities. If someone is carrying, uh, is buying by kilo, they will take a minimum of 200 kilos to 100 kilos. Party. When you're ready to farm the, 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 the mustard greens, be sure there is market. 
just link up with the farmers who are aware of where to sell, where to produce, to buy the seeds. Because if you go wrong on the seeds, it ultimately will affect your, your selling price. So contact us, we link you to the market, we train you on the good practices. For more information, you can contact us and you can check us on our Facebook page, that is Kenyeji Veggies. Our number is 0758553227. We do trainings every Monday, first week of the, every month. Virtual, we charge at 250 per session. And practical, we do charge 500 shillings per session. Come, let's learn together and change our lives. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. In our next video, we'll be talking about production of the amaranth, amaterere, amamchichak.